Hello, lovely. How are you doing today? So I am back, clearly. That's why you're here. And we're going to go through a really quick haul. I'm in Port-au-Prince right now, and it is noisy. As I have told you in the last few videos that I have shot from Port-au-Prince. And so that's just kind of the way it is. So hopefully you'll be gracious with that. Um, and I think you can hear me. I've done some testing of it and I think you're okay. Um, I actually just brought all these in from trying them on or not trying them on, doing the, the try on portion. Yes, trying them on and for you. And so they're all inside out and otherwise disheveled. So what we have here is a walmart.com haul and I'm gonna do another Walmart haul that's a Walmart in-store haul. Um, I've noticed that a lot of the things that you get on .com are not the same things as you get in store and the prices of course are not the same. So you can get better prices in store a lot of times because they're trying to move things out especially on clearance which is my forte um, and then online you get different things that are not otherwise offered. Okay so first thing I've got here this is from Paper Tea which is a apparently a fairly common company. Um, the fabric on this is uh, if this is all going to be like viscose and whatnot. What? Where is it? Where can I find it? China. Somewhere in here. There's a tag. I hate when they put the tag like way down at the bottom. But you can't find it. They do that on purpose. They're trying to deceive us. Anyway, this is a cute um, jumpsuit. And this guy is quite lightweight. It's got these beautiful flowers. I think that this works really well as a transition into fall because since the colors are these rich greens and blacks and browns and, and grays and whatnot, I think it works really well. Uh, and this is, I'm not sure what this flower is, but it's not really super tropical as some of the prints have been over the summer, so this is great. So it has pockets, which is great. It has a little tie at the waist. Um, it is just a step in thing with this little fastener at the back and there is a zipper at the back that goes down. This is great if you've got a bigger butt or what are hips than I do. Um, I'm pretty much, my biggest air, biggest part is in my bust and so this, I, I never have to unfasten this, but this would be great if you do have wider hips so that it can get, get over those. Um, it is a crop length, which is great for me because it comes basically just brushes my ankles. If you are taller, this would be probably like a culotte um, sort of thing, but it's super cute, super comfortable, very nice transition into fall. All of these were bought on clearance and they were all except for one item, 2X. So it takes me so much longer to film a video here in Port-au-Prince because I have to sit here and wait for cars to go by. and. that whatever I just finally gotten to the point where I'm like I'm gonna film this stuff anyhow if you guys want to watch it you watch it if you don't want to watch it if you hate the background sound I'm sorry um, I would avoid it if I could but I can't and I've actually checked this out with my microphone my lapel mic that doesn't make a difference so it looks like I'm gonna need to get a shotgun mic or something like that I don't know what they're tapping on like what are they hammering like I mean, serious hammering where they're doing construction or something. It's just like tap, 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 tap. Like, what are you doing? I don't know. Okay, so this is a cute little dress. If you want to see how I'm styling this stuff, go to my Instagram, which I will show somewhere around here, and I'll also link it in the comments um, because that's where I style all this stuff and take pictures, and you can see. So this is a cute little uh, red and navy print dress. It's got these um, floral and other print stripes down it. It's kind of a swing um, shape and it has this little button closure in the back two buttons with these little stretchy dilly bobs here super lightweight this is like the same fabric as the other one this is also from paper T in a 2x and uh, does not have pockets but this is such a cute dress I am 5'4 I may have mentioned that already but this does come a bit short on me it is on the risque side but not Inappro not inappropriate, um, just show some leg. And um, if you are taller than me, this is going to be a mini on you. And 
but this would be really cute with the leggings or even over jeans or something like that as a kind of a tunic dress top. So um, again, another really great one that I think can transition beautifully into fall and winter. And so um, this was around six bucks. I will post all of that on the screen as I know it. So I actually just grabbed these in order as they're sitting here on my lap because why. So there's no rhyme or reason for this, but I will insert my try-on portion so you guys can see that. I think I'm going to insert it. I'm trying to figure out my editing, so I have not done that yet, the picture-in-picture. -picture. So we'll see if I can figure this out. Not that hard. Google More is pretty good. That's, that's the program I use. Alright, so this is actually the reason I made this purchase in the first place. I really wanted some overalls. I loved overalls back in the day in the actual 90s, and now that we're reliving the 90s, I'm like, oh yeah. And I had some back then. I don't even remember what they would have looked like. Probably just basic jean overalls that fit a little bit weird because of my belly and boobs and, well, not boobs because this one can kind of go around. But yeah, I don't know. Um, so this is a cute little white or cream colored uh, bib overall. And it's it's got this funny little like, like surplus pocket here where it's like this is here and I guess this is to put your pen or something in okay whatever it's cute it's got the crisscross in the back and it's the little strap on this one will hold this one so you can crisscross it or you can take them out of the crisscross and put them straight up who does that um this is from the dollhouse exclusive for Walmart so that's the only place you can get it and I got this in a 20 usually I wear an 18 but I did decide to size up and that was wise on this because I was not sure how the stretch was now the stretch is quite good you can see but because the way that it's cut I wasn't sure how it would fit and I do like it a little bit bigger and so I do prefer the 20 so I would say check out the try on portion and if you like the way that this fits me then it size up one if you are an apple shape if that makes sense um, if you are pear shape I think you can definitely go with your size because I think it would fit you better if you're yeah depending on how you depending on how you want the fit to be so totally up to you um, one of the great little details of this is this little frayed edge this kind of it's deconstructed because it has it looks like it just they just took the hem out here and i like this because it does show that deconstructed sort of bad without being overly so so this is really cute and then of course it also has this um embroidery which is another detail we've been seeing in 2018 a lot and this is i guess these are uh cherry blossoms really super cute something that you absolutely could transition into fall i have a really cute flannel or it's not really a flannel it looks like a flannel that um i also got from walmart but i got in store and that would look really cute with this um also yeah just either a long sleeve shirt or an off, off the shoulder shirt a sweater underneath here leggings you could put a jacket over the top of this you could put a duster there's a gajillion different ways you could style this and make it fantastic for fall and winter so this one was the most expensive i think this was around 20 i think it was still on sale but it was around 20 and i wanted to go for it i usually don't pay more than i usually don't pay 20 for anything because i'm cheap and again this is this was all bought online so i didn't try anything out of this on and i love everything that i got so everything was very successful that hammering is really annoying I just, there's no other time to make a, I've, I've like evaluated all the different times. I could probably get up like at 5 a.m., take a shower, get dressed, put my makeup on, if I do makeup, like pretty much today I did makeup, um, clearly, but, and I could probably make a video at like six or seven when it first gets light and um, there wouldn't be as much of that. But I'm not a morning person. All right, so this guy lost a button. Um, so I will be sewing that back on. I did salvage it. Um, it was really interesting because it actually came off when I was wearing a different outfit. And I was like, what does that just fall on the ground? 
but it's from this one. But this is another kind of an, I want to call it an A-frame. That's for a house, not for a dress. Um, it is kind of a, an A-cut uh, swing dress. So it just kind of starts here and goes out from there. These are good for apple shapes in a way, um, especially if you're an apple shape with a larger chest. Um, but it also can just really look tent like on you. If they have movement like this, then they're quite nice um, to kind of swing around and whatnot. This one was around six bucks as well. It's from the brand Poof, again in a 2X. This little guy goes in the front. And again, I will tie, I will not tie, I will sew that button back on here so that will be back intact. And it's just an over the pull on over the head. There's no zippers, there's no snaps, there's nothing functional except that button that's sewn on. Um, this is super thin. So, I mean, I can see my hand through this. I don't know if you can, but um, I wore in the try on, I wore a kind of almost a flesh tone, kind of pinkish uh, underwear and white bra. I'm not sure if you could see it. Um, because it was kind of bright and so when I was looking back at it I couldn't quite tell but um, you would want to wear something flesh tone probably underneath this this is longer than the other dress and so it's a little bit more modest in that again it could absolutely transition put some leggings underneath under this that are like burgundy put a little shrug over it um, wear some cute booties with it even put a leather jacket over this and it would look really cute for fall. You can you can also belt it. Now these ones belted are a little bit weird. I feel like because they're, they're so bulky then around the waist, but it's up to you. If you buy it, it's your dress. You can do whatever you want. I'm not going to be mad at you. Okay, so the last thing I got. Um, this is one of my favorite things. I wasn't actually sure. There were a couple of these that I wasn't sure how they would turn off because I saw them online and Walmart does not do the best job at uh, displaying or taking really good photos of their stuff and so the jumpsuit that I got I was not sure if that would actually look decent or if it would just look horrendous but it was fantastic I love it uh, same with this this one I just was not sure about now again because I live in Haiti um, I want the fall look but I don't have the fall weather and I will tell you right now I've worn this officially one time for my mom's birthday party and then I put it on for the try-on portion and in that time there's threads hanging from here um, so there was probably going to need to be some repair on this this is this is on the cheap side um, but it is on the cheap side it's not expensive at all again a 2x and it fits quite well for that uh, but you'll see you know here there's kind of this unfinished you know why didn't they just snip that off because they're getting paid pennies an hour that's why and uh, so this is a floor length in the try-on portion I actually styled it over a couple of other things that I got in store at Walmart a pair of shorts and this tank top which I'm wearing right now but you can't see the shorts I don't think and a pair of lace up heels that I got from from rainbow and Without that, I had wear, worn this, when I wore it last time, I wore it with a one inch heel and it was very cute, but I would find myself if I was going up steps that I would end up tripping on it and that was a little bit, that was a little bit obnoxious. Um, so you might, if you're short like me, you might either want to hem it, it's, I mean it's easy enough hem, you know, it's just, this is not even a rolled hem, it's just, it's just a whipped hem basically. So you could just cut it off and hem it that way. So, um, really cute though. Again, a really neat thing to go into fall because it's these muted colors. Not super bright summery colors, but these nice muted pinks and whatnot. It looks great over a color like this. It looks great over browns. It looks great with burgundies and um, over jeans, over a skirt, over a dress. There's a ton of different ways you could rip. I even thought about styling this with that uh, jumper that I got, the uh, overall dress. So we'll see. Anyway, so that is what I got from Walmart.com. So five items that I got, and they are very versatile. I love everything that I got. What I got in store was a little bit more everyday practical, but these are really great additions to my wardrobe to kind of, uh, yeah, give me some of the trends and some of the fun stuff 
without breaking the bank. So don't sleep on Walmart because I think they're really underrated and both in store and online. But definitely check out the online. If you don't find anything in store, check out online because they have really nice stuff. And they have a ton of stuff online. You just have to go through it. It's kind of like Amazon. It's just hard to sort through everything. And then there are Walmart sales and then there's external sales. And I haven't had good luck with buying stuff from other companies. So I would stick with the Walmart stuff that comes directly, ships from Walmart. That stuff I've had very good luck with. So yeah, that's it. So I hope that you like this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed already, make sure that you subscribe and give us that little, hit that little notification bell so that anytime I upload a video, it will show up. Now I have been a little bit inconsistent because I was traveling and I was trying to upload on Thursdays and, Sun and Sundays, but that has kind of gone by the wayside a little bit. However, I do upload a couple videos. Usually uh, every week I up upload one or two. And so you'll see different stuff like that. And I focus on fashion and beauty and body positivity, just accepting the way that we have been created and also wellness. And so wellness being spiritual and emotional and physical wellness. And so that's what I like to talk about. Those are my passions. Those are also your passions. Come join my lovely little tribe and be part of this family, this growing family. I'm really excited about this. This is so much fun and I am getting so much out of it and I hope that you are too. So share this video with somebody that you think might be interested in this sort of clothing and might be maybe surprised at some of the things that they would find at Walmart. And make a comment below. Tell me what did you like, what did you not like. If there's anything that I style and you're like, girl, and if there's anything that you'd like to see, to see on this channel, let me know. I'll see what I can do to help you out. And you guys have definitely helped me out. You guys are fantastic. Love you so much. And stay blessed and stay lovely. And I will see you in my next video.